welcome back everybody. Today I am going to be going over some basics on catching American Shad here on the Sacramento River. There's plenty of style, plenty of setups, but I'm going to show you guys how I catch Shad and this is how I rig them. If I was to tie my own rigs, I do not add a jig head because the object is to get the grab of the tail moving in the current so if you put a jig head and if the current's not strong enough it's gonna give it um, some weight and then therefore the current's not strong enough to pick the grub up and keep it in action in the water so I do not put any type of jig heads I actually add a bead just to make sure it keeps afloat it's May now Shad, it's on its full run. They're coming up, especially the big females with the eggs. What I like to do is attach a couple of different colors. This color here, you cannot buy it at the store. This is a custom color I made myself. I actually put the chartreuse and the pink together, left them for a, a day, and then you get the peach looking ones. When they don't bite these, you know, this is the only one that's getting bit with my experience fishing for shad here. You guys all know the pink chiffon rod, the pink rod that I got from Lemma Glass. Thank you, Lemma Glass. I just drop it straight down the boat, just like this, guys. Just like that, um, you guys been seeing in my videos, I get all my majority of my fish on the takedown on the pink rods. And I catch most of my fish this way, but I also cast a rod out there just in case if they're hitting out there versus they're not hitting uh, right below the boat. But 70% of my fish has come from straight down underneath the boat. So yeah, today's just a round up about how I catch shad and uh, as the water clears up like I said you want to go with the pink or the secret color that peach color where you combine both of these the chartreuse and the pink together to get the peach color remember right now you want to use two to three ounce weights Here on the Sacramento River, you're allowed to use three hooks. Um, I like to keep them about a, a foot from the weight and then a foot apart or half a foot apart. Yeah, just cast them out there and wait for the bite. Whoa, oh wow. Net it before we lose this fish. Yeah. It's over here. You gotta be over here. It's good. Hold on, I'm gonna bring him. He's gonna come backward. Let me keep going underneath. Okay. This is a big one. <laughs> That's a big female. All right, folks, you guys see it here. So I'm just dropping them straight down like this. And that's how I'm catching all my fishes. Oh, that's right here. Oh! Well, folks, I told you guys, 70% of the fish comes right underneath the boat. Oh, honey, honey, honey. 
He's on there? You need help? Huh? Are you gonna lift it in? Oh, yeah. Come on. Bring, oh, walk it back. came up. Oh. <laughs> That's a bite. Made him jump. Here, honey. This is a surf rod. Oh. Yeah, I think it's rated up to 12 pounds. <laughs> yeah, this is for the beach. That's why I bend so much. Okay. Yeah, I just play with these fish. Good action. That's a big one, honey. Wow, look at that. That was crazy. My goodness. Ooh. Ooh, yee. Oh, yee. Come on, baby. That's a good one for bait. That's the smallest one. Let's get. So the, the bite has died down on the Sacramento side of Miller Park where everybody's lined up and I moved across the river because they probably made it over to this side and they're probably running on this side of the channel. Get this in the current. It's not a bad cast for a kokanee rod. I'm gonna let it sit out there and see if we catch anything on this side instead of fishing where everybody is. We're fishing over here. Thought I just had a bite, but get me another rod out here because I really like the way the current is running on this side. So me and Biscuit, we just want to say we thank you guys very much for watching our channel. We want to thank you for your support especially you locals and everybody who's been coming up to me or Biscuit. He wants to share all his catches with you folks. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's see what we get. All right. All right, fish on. Yep. So, you know, for Shad, you gotta move around. For me, I move around because 
You gotta find where they're running at. Isn't that right, honey? Yeah. You gotta find the line where they're running at and just get on top of it. As soon as you cast, as soon as the weight hits the bottom, you should already, within the next couple minutes, you should already get a bite or two. Well, and that's how you know you're on a, a good school. Honey, I need the net. So we're right across from everyone. Thanks, honey. We're right across from everybody where they line up and fish, and I came right across the river here. My first cast, I got a shad. So this is my third spot that I moved to today. Every time I moved, I caught a couple of fish and then it, it would die down. So the line would move, the shad line would move. You never know, they're running across the river today or they, they're just all over the place. That looks like a female. Yeah, it is. She's got some eggs on her. The big females are showing up. All right guys, so the bike slowed down at Miller Park areas and I'm chasing the school up towards Discovery. And they should be moving on up towards Verona and into the American River. So I should be able to catch a few more back up here. All in all, today is a little bit slow, but I had a great day. We've caught about 15 fish so far and the day's not over, so we're headed up towards Discovery area. Check it out, guys. All right, guys, so like I said, I moved to Discovery here, away from everybody. Oh, that's a, that's a good, good shot right there. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow, five miles an hour, five miles an hour. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down. Don't be like those jet ski guys. It's a five miles an hour, no wake zone here. On again, second fish at the no wig zone. But it seems like they don't care. Oh. There it is, there it is. Look at that. Oh you guys seen that jump? I'm on here. Look at that, look at that. Woohoo! It's always better to fish away from everybody. Oh, another, oh my goodness. Woohoo! Give us another jump, baby. Give us another jump. Oh. Woohoo! He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Got him! On again with all this ruckus out here! Honey, you wanna fight this? No. Jump, buddy! Ooh, look at that, look at that. 
Yeah, I need the mitt. Yep. I'm gonna get ready right there.